guys, welcome back, back to my channel. My name is Kewani with NK as well. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna look at we're gonna recap our um lessons that we learned in 2019, our progress and the mistakes that I have made of 2019. So today we're about to spell some secret tea. Okay guys, so if you guys wanna know my lessons, my mistakes, the progress that I made, keep on watching. Let's get into this. So, first thing I want to talk about is the mistakes I made in 2019. Now, as most of you guys may know if you watch my channel, that last year was a disaster. It was a wrecking ball. It was... Mm, Last year, I realized that my hair was thinning out, like, uh, from, from, like, two inches of my hair, my roots was thick, and then the rest was just very stringy, um, I did not know how to occur, so, I've learned a lot from there, and I've just progressed from there, so, my mistake, one, is leaving my hair unattended for... Uh, a long period of time now you know me i'm protective style queen but sometimes when i take down my protective style i like to put my hair away not necessarily in a twist protective style or braid protective style but in a bun and what i do i will take down my braids or my twist and i will just leave them as they are and i will put my hair in a bun for a week something two weeks without taking it down and refreshing my hair without taking it down and detangling my hair and so that caused a lot of matte matted hair that caused a lot of my hair to be a lot harder to detangle and that just caused a lot of um unnecessary breakage unnecessary unnecessary shredding shredding and that is a um, big mistake that I learned in 2019. One is that, that I've done. One is that, the other one is that I stayed too long to trim my hair. And, um, let me see this. So this day I trimmed my hair twice. I trimmed my hair in last year, December. This year June and this year November December and I felt as if I need to like um, close the gap a little bit not be that far distant because I do wet my hair often when it comes to styling and detangle my hair and so I think that I need to not necessarily trim my hair more often but dust my hair so I'm thinking like every month I would just look at my ends and I would just give them like a little like a centimeter on dusting from 2020. I already started in 2019 but I started in December. So from 2020 that is what my plan is to do. My lesson learned is that um, what is my lesson learned? Is how important taking care of my hair is and how important deep conditioning is now y'all know I love to deep condition my hair I do not wash my hair once per week I wash my hair once per month and so I do my everything my wash the routine I do my people my shampoo I if I haven't done a rice rice a rice water rinse in a long time but I usually do that and then my deep conditioner and then my conditioner and so I have been really really focused on finding a great deep conditioner and I showed, I, I did a whole review on that and I put it in the cat. I've been really focused on doing, on finding one and once I find one, I, I stick to it because my hair love it. And so my lesson learned is find something that your hair love. Um, keep your hair moisturized, keep your hair as healthy as possible. Those are the lessons that I learned is to just don't neglect my hair as often in 2020. Detangle. I have the best detangling tool now. So detangling to me is like I want to do it every single day. But keep your hair detangle. Keep your ends in top, top shape. And just 
keep your hair healthy because once you have the moisture once you have the deep conditioner once you have that moisture retention and the length retention as i keep saying that your hair will always progress from there okay let's talk about the progress now um progress that i've made in 2019 is that i started taking better care of my hair i just started to listen to my hair and what it wants and what it not what it doesn't want and stuff like that and i started noticing that my hair starts like growing like crazy if i trim my hair this time it was at like passing my butt length and that was something that i wanted to reach like so long and i was so happy that i was doing something good to my hair and like i started doing like things that i know my hair will love instead of things that i want to try out because my favorite youtubers are trying out so i, I stuck to what my hair love i stuck to what i know that will work for my hair and that just progress that just that just my progress learning to finally listen to my hair once and it needs and learning to just um not compare my hair to other um other people hair and stuff like that it was a hard thing to not compare my hair to um but i've learned that my hair is different than every other person hair we may have the same texture but we may not have the same density or the same porosity and so just learning to accept my hair fully i've always accepted my hair but not i just had like okay every person sees this person with um a more curly i have curly hair but more curly wavy hair and like you know that the detangling time on those hair it is so much easier to deal with and for a long time i always like wanted to like to experience having that hair instead of my hair but then my hair is based on my culture my hair is based on my ethnicity and so now knowing that where my hair i always know where my hair come from but now like accepting it i love my hair even more and even more conditional unconditionally and so i accept it and stuff like that so guys this year has been more of a progress and more of learning and just um growing with my hair i'm just going to love my hair i no longer like okay and uh, this is too much for me i just i think about cutting my hair like now i never actually think about cutting my hair i just think about growing my hair as to how long it is and i stop doing length checks that often but i should do a length check for you guys in sometime probably 2020 so um like the beginning of 2020 so this is it guys um i really truly really love my hair and i would not like to see it go back to the state that it was in 2018 2017 and i am trying my best to not neglect my hair and to keep my hair moisturized keep my balance protein protein moisture balance in 2020 to trim my hair when it is needed and not to wait until i feel it desired and just to take proper care of my hair deep can keep on deep condition my hair using the product that my hair loves and just to flourish with my hair and go with my hair so that is it guys these are my mistakes my lessons learned and my progress that i've made in 2019 i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up subscribe down below share and comment also hit the notification bell and until next time remember to be safe be blessed always stay stress free and i'll definitely see you guys in my next video until then bye